Hey, in this short five and five video, I'm going to be taking you through five tips for job setup in VersaWorks. Number one, when setting up multiples of print and cut jobs in VersaWorks, a handy tool to use is the custom cut feature. In this feature, we create multiples of jobs and we batch them into smaller areas so that the printer will print and then cut batches of jobs rather than the full length of all of the copies. In order to set this up, go into VersaWorks and open up your job. Here you would normally hit the get media width button and the machine will read the width of the material inside the device. At the moment I don't have any material loaded so I'm just going to enter a new width. What we would then do is copy that value or remember it or write it down and then we change the size of the roll from custom roll to custom cut. The width will then default back to the full width of the device so we need to paste in the value that we read previously. In the height, we can then choose the height of the sections that we want to create. So first of all, I'm going to enter multiple copies of this job. So I'm going to be cutting 24 copies of this job, which is two and a half meters in length. The height of this job, the file that I have is 297 millimeters, and I'm going to batch these print and cut jobs into copies of six in each row. So in the height, I'm going to put two lots of the height plus a small allowance for the tile spacing. So I'm going to put in here 600 millimeters. If I now zoom out, what we can see is that there's a page break after each six copies. This means that the printer will print six copies and then cut those out and then move on, print six copies and cut those out and keep going through the entire job. This maintains accuracy over distance when using the print and cut feature. Number two, nesting. As you can see in my job list here in VersaWorks, these last four jobs, if I printed these as you can see them, we would have a big white gap on the right hand side of the material as they would always print closest to uh, the print head position. What we can do is select multiples of jobs either by using the control key on your computer or by dragging and dropping over a number of different jobs and then we can hit the nest button. This means that all of these jobs will be print and cut within the same job. So if we now open up the job settings for this feature, we can see that the four different jobs are all next to each other within what's called a nest. You can still create multiple copies of jobs and you can change the scale, for example, of any jobs as well. So let's create a number of copies of this job. In the top right hand corner, there is a small arrow that says rearrange tiles. If you click this, it will try different configurations of the layout for you. You can also click and drag jobs into a position that you see better or more fit. So as we can see, we're not wasting as much space because we've nested these jobs together. Number three, we have marks. Within a job, if we select any of our files and we open this, job, this up, we have different options for the marks that you can add in VersaWorks. If we go down to the marks tab at the top here we have trim marks, margin marks and Photoba cut line marks. Photoba are for a specific cutting device but we have trim and margin marks as the default settings. If I select trim marks for example and I zoom into the corner of this job we'll see what these marks look like. These are two small tabs that face outwards from the corner. These are useful when you're trimming around the border of your artwork, but not when you're guillotining all the way across. If we change these to margin marks, for example, these face inwards, which means once you chop a section of the material off, you still have the next line to line up the next section of your cut. So normally margin marks are more useful than their trim marks when you're doing your default cutting using a guillotine. You can also add an offset when using these to create a border around your artwork. Number four, EPS margin. When you use EPS as a file format, especially when you have cut lines upon the border of your data, you can sometimes lose cut data. This might mean that one edge of your design will not cut properly. In this test that we can see here, if I just make this a bit larger, oops, we can see that some of the cut information on this test sits right on the border of the file size, so all along the bottom edge, the left edge, the right edge and the top edge. This means that due to the nature of the EPS file format, some of this cut information 
sits exactly on the border and we may lose some of it. In order to make sure that this doesn't happen, we need to go into the queue settings. So we can go edit, queue settings, at the moment we're working in QA. When you have your queue settings, we need to go down to the file format tab where we have the EPS margin settings. Here we want to make sure that the margin is larger than the stroke weight on your cut path. So I've put 0.3 millimeters as I normally use a 0.25 point margin on my file. This means that VersaWorks will look this far outside of the file format so it definitely gets all of the cut edge, uh, the cut information sat upon the boundary. Make sure that you set your EPS margin before importing your job otherwise it will not take into effect the jobs that are already sat in the queue. And number five, number of copies in VersaWorks. When you open up a job and you want to set multiples of copies you're limited in VersaWorks to 250 copies in the Layout tab. This is because VersaWorks creates a live preview of all of the jobs and if we had many more than that it would take a lot of power to generate the live preview. So the copies are limited to 250. A way of working around that is we could put multiples of copies into the Job tab here and then when we exit and hit Print there's now an Advanced Print Settings option that comes up with a print count. This means we could send multiples of the jobs that we've selected for the job settings. So you could put 250 copies and then you could say, for example, print count of four giving you 1000 copies. Mm -hmm. 